Dad, hmm? how do you know a university is right for you? Son, there's nothing as life-changing as going to a great university. From the very first moment you walk through the gates, you realize your life will never be the same again. You feel the aura of being in the presence of people with great minds from different walks of life. That's when you'll know you are at the center of excellence and high academic standards in a place that nurtures competitiveness, scientific inquiry, critical thinking, and innovation. Son, you will know a great university when you are at Kampala International University. Ah. Kampala International University is a leading private university. Visit our website or any of our campuses for more details. KIU, exploring the heights. Over the past 22 years, Kampala International University has consistently maintained a track record of excellence poised towards producing university graduates that can deliver solutions to the various developmental needs of Uganda, East Africa and the African continent at large. Our graduates in Uganda and many African countries have gone on to become successful professionals in the fields of engineering, medicine, law, media, science and technology, high-ranking government officials and members of parliament. As the leading private university in Uganda, the fifth best university in East Africa and the 61st best in Africa, according to the Webometrics World Ranking of Universities, we understand our role in producing the much needed human capital needs in Uganda, East Africa and the African continent. With a population of 1.2 billion, rich arable lands, numerous mineral resources and the youngest population in the world, Africa is yet to live up to her true potentials. About 40% of the population in sub-Saharan Africa are living below poverty level and the few African countries have been able to meet the World Health Organization minimum of $30 to $40 per person per year. This is why we offer programs covering wide areas of study like economics and management, humanities and social sciences, education, law, natural and applied sciences, mathematics and computing, engineering, medicine and dentistry, biomedical sciences, allied health sciences, nursing sciences and pharmaceutical sciences. We have developed new medical programs in the fields of orthopedic surgery, ophthalmology, emergency medicine, medical imaging, otorhinolaryngology, anesthesia, critical care and pathology. These attest to our readiness to deepen the quality of healthcare in Uganda and across Africa by training more medical and health professionals. To boost the technical competence of the young African population, the management has approved the development of certificate programs in building construction, plumbing, woodwork technology, welding and fabrication, automotive mechanics, electrical installation systems and maintenance, electronics technology, fashion and garment design. Are you still thinking of where to study? Join us at Kampala International University. We have the facilities to support your learning journey. We ensure that the educational experience of our students culminate into productive graduates who can contribute positively to the overall well-being of society. Kampala International University, exploring the heights. Today we celebrate a big achievement of five major solutions that we think some are going to be patented and others are going to be commercialized. We had a mini graduation ceremony, I might call it, for our first cohorts of the research and innovation training program, as well as knowledge and skills transfer program. From a single research-led innovation project, we are able to derive multiple outputs. We have publications, intellectual property rights protected, which has relevance and value in terms of commercialization. We have these same products scaling out either as products on the market, as businesses, as startups. We are so delighted that uh, the Directorate of Research, Innovation, Consultants and Extension has moved a step ahead in trying to skill and empower our students. And out of this uh, first cohort, we've had five different products or solutions, 10 different publications. We have also been able to obtain two patentable products, and there are three out of the five that we are going to scale out. 
as businesses. It is testimony to the kind of innovation that our students have and the kind of potential that we have. Our plan is to scale this up and also invite other institutions to come and benchmark. We keep exploring the heights as Kampala International University. If we imagine today what kind of world we want, and that's the world we'll be created. This project is a social business project where we're trying to leverage the concept of social business in empowering our young people. This program has been run for the last 13 months and has been targeting educational institutions, community-based organizations, and uh, to be specific, secondary schools and universities. We are looking at how we can empower youths both in school and out of school to be able to turn their situations, their dire situations into opportunities to create value. At Gulu University, we tell these young people that solve the problem and the dollars will come. Don't start complaining that you don't have the money. Go out to the community, identify a problem, solve it, then the money will come. So that's why it's called Ebizibu Bugaga. Instead of looking at problems, Ebizibu means problems. Instead of looking at problems and shining away from them and seeking to give the responsibility to other people, we look at them as an opportunity for us as young people to provide solutions that will not only help the society which, within which we live in, but will add value not only to ourselves, but to also, also to the young people and other members of society. want to establish a demonstration center, in fact a demonstration farm, where we train farmers uh, on hands-on skills and also we provide them with high quality seeds, then we link them to high uh, input shops and also we can also look for market for their products. We are asked for Katanga and our project is all about recycling and managing waste. We are making sure that waste is not wasted, that is our slogan, waste not for waste. What we have in plan is to make sure that the waste is, is dispersed rightly, human waste and other waste. We are planning to work on different slums. The sample space is Katete, whereby we shall be collecting human waste or emptying the latrines that are already existing and also collecting the organ organic and inorganic waste from those areas. So right here, we managed to win two million ceilings in a, great, a very uh, serious competition. Uh, we are going to use this very same to uh, call upon others as well to come up with different initiatives, different ideas to change their life. We are so glad because we have won, as you see, we have won 2 million and this 2 million will help us to, to promote our project because the project that we had, we were planning and we were planning to start constructing buildings using these plastic bottles. But now we were still lacking some funds, but now we have got the fund and we are really going to begin our project. Well, the thing that I see about the world, what it should be, uh, it's all question of imagination. Imagination is we want to create a world which will be absolutely free from poverty. I was able to win the competition of writing that imagination. And I believe this money is not, I'm not just going to eat the money, but I'm planning 
to build up a project that is going to concentrate on climate change. We believe that 2050 the climate will drastically change. By 2050 the population will be too high, around 9.5 billion. If we can start now, we can save the 2050, the future of 2050, we can save it by starting now. Dubai, 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 Dubai,